In an interview with Gregory Lawless, Lawless wrote, wildlife rifle fire is an explosion of visual as well as sonic energy, using concrete forms and visual puns to explore the nuances of reading and poem making. Welcome, Paul. That's crazy. Well, thank you. How's everybody doing? Um, so the people on the cameras, I'm gonna move. Is this okay? Yeah. Yeah? Kind of. Uh, poetry's weird, right? Um, you can't do it alone. You sit there writing a poem by yourself. But it takes a community. And uh, this room is filled with people who actually care about poetry, which is pretty good for a poet. Um, thank you so much to the library, the Pennsylvania Center for the Book, the judges. Julie, I didn't know you were going to be here until I think yesterday. Um, Julie was one of my professors at Pitt, and she helped me convince my parents that I can do this. Because <laughs> I submitted to a, a contest, the Masters National Poetry Contest. I don't know what year it was. Yeah, you were the judge. I got third place, and I was like, Mom, Dad, look. <laughs> And it was about my father, so they're like, oh, she's got some skill. <laughs> and uh, Jeff, um, really, I'm not here without you know, all the time that I've sucked at your life. <laughs> so, so thank you. Um, the judges, amazing. Appreciate it. Poe in your room. Thanks to Will as well. Thanks for the, the art, to, to combine our, our creative efforts. Really, thank you. Um, so we've heard a lot of amazing poetry tonight. Uh, it's pretty overwhelming for me. And, uh, but you might also like... <laughs> Be afraid now, okay. Today's BBC hyperlinked headline reads, Buddhist monks protest against time. This moment, this now, it tastes like we spent the past 20 minutes dissecting the anatomy of a piñata. Scrumptiousness aside, it's hard to peel an orange from the inside. In the next gallery over, the curator is stimulating a sculpture composed of cracked open brown egg eggshells. Will you sit with me a smidge? I don't want to be alone while I watch this sculpture struggle. <laughs> <clears throat> Kaleidoscope a go go. Light pipe, burst light, spin cycle, sunrise. A look inside. Festival verse over festival chords. Bliss twisted, a colored commotion contraption. From atom to atom. Sitars of sight. Of mirror, mirror, mandala, shockwaves upon worldly eyes. Deciphering eyes. From poem to poem. And of course it's complicated. You, the phenomenon. Separate and temporary. Everlasting is one. I, awakening form, an activity book for your spectacles, lit for sensation seekers, literature to focus, collide, and cope. To read up on them hidden gems, go dancing. <clears throat> and the astronaut in the airport piano bar sings. Everything everybody ever had, even our own everybody. Amazon sales rank, 3,173,937 in endangered rainforest bookstores. Like a beat flat and a bow and arrow, that's how I behave during blast off. Tucked inside my celestial treasure chest, first grader finger paintings, 11 revelers of angelic flesh, and the sideline ladder of Roman numeral three. Every bizarre fact, every hot midnight trombone, awake to work, awake to dream, comes a time for innovation and a time for revenge. Occasion a skateboard city hall, Grind to fiasco, fantastico. Grounds for newborn earthworms galore, and even a time to realign the Milky Way. Exclusive, Lady Gaga and Yo-Yo Ma caught making out at LaGuardia Airport. <laughs> See the shocking new photos and find out how long they've been keeping their secret. <laughs> Ignition, boom, <laughs> from the obvious to the oblivious. Every fossilized invertebrate, every gargoyle in the grocery store. I keep you, it. Everything, safe with my celebrations, secured by the belt of Orion.
<laughs> How's it going? <laughs> so, first book, poem, poem Burns Room. This poem's called Poem Brace the Bloom. All that blossoms is blessed. All that withers is wake. All that blossoms is bright. All that withers is well. All that blossoms, beloved. All that withers is wane. All that blossoms is bold. All that withers is withdraw. All that blossoms is brief. All that withers is witness. All that blossoms is bereaved. All that withers is wise. Anyone ever been to the Grand Canyon? This is for you. It's called Big Time. Kaibab limestone, rim, cream of bathtub ring, sunny grayish white where wow abounds. All of this once submerged, coral fish, coral fish teeth worms, all that tarawea formation, many tears we've yet to shed. Shadows, yellows, for the time it took, ravens up, if they know where they are. No matter what you Coconino sandstone expect, these historic horizontals, it's more. Unearthly walls, Duchamp, new descending number two. Petrified pure quartz, deep artistic hermit shale scar, yuck fly suck mule dung all along. Ligaments hoofing on the rocks the river never took. Adventure rising. And there are reds to read, till supai formation. You've seen it, the challenge. No one can truly describe it. Scrappy little squirrels, miles, mules of the muse, the same source that made red wall limestone this, it never gets old. Made me. Caves, arches, we're reconnoisseurs, older as you go, dolomites, we're adventurizing. Views that wild limestone somehow enter you. A thing or two about time, the desire to study geology the moment you get home. Them ravens, pines, the stratum, bright angel shale that poses for pictures. Mudstone, paleozoic, how many millions? Boot prints, shy about what a million even is. Ripple dips from ocean, tapiat sandstone waves, Cambrian, every line at which you aim your eyes. Zoroaster granite, another line shoots you somewhere else. Eroded, a man in Vishnu schist, a great wall hat at the lookout when we first arrived. Shared, awesome doesn't mean the same thing anymore. All that which the Colorado carved, to breathe it all in, and in its sight, her first time, she cried. Rib, terrible breathing. My condolences. Of cutting open to inflict an email clutching. I am so sorry for your gasp for air. For how to take him with me. Continue tearing by the serving fork the urge. Throw the bones below the ankle clutching. My rib and terror breathing. Talons begging to attack. To continue tearing down the torn. Eat, eagle, lung, inflict, and often email my condolences to you and your I am so sorry. All the normal, gouged out lives. I pick a person to whom I think I do not belong. And down I run the street of thinking of how I have nothing all to do with them. And then a verb. Tear out their talons to inflict, portion out the meat, serve the vibrant to the urge. Eat, eagle, lung for wing withdrawal. Feathers better the forces of rebels to serve the urge of cutting open, to fork it into, into mouth, to inflict the fancy into the face, then pay the bill, leave the credit card behind. We just had this huge meal. <laughs> and the filet mignon is fantastic. So, America. Poster, America stop honking, I know what I'm doing. And that is a that is a lift from Ginsburg. America stop pushing. I know what I'm doing. Um, I wrote this about ten years ago, which is kind of interesting to give it another life like this. So thank you again. Um, it was me just bitching. <laughs> so you want to hear someone bitch? Now is your chance. America stop honking. I know what I'm doing. Upon yawning commute for the nine a.m. The reluctance of a real-world lesson. Nearly a hundred birds, a species small and gray, urban name unknown to knowledge, swooped about in unison above the still-accepted weight at light of red. 
finally. Something natural, worthwhile, introducing change to my mundane. Flight school, our work in the open air. Swift, wheeling maneuvers behind each unidentifiable and momentary leader. Anonymous, but for milliseconds. The decision maker switches every time direction does. The useful beauty of anyone initiating a new acrobatic, no matter how ephemeral, in the sight of which, overwhelming the well, feeling lately like I've been typing into a typewriter without paper, never wanted a light to stay red so bad before in all my life. <laughs> so, last poem. It's been an amazing night. Um, so my last name is spelled with two L's, Siegel with two L's, which I always thought was really weird. Um, so I'm into that kind of stuff, letters and like how they develop and words and stuff like that. So this is called the double O poem, or All in a Woodpecker's Afternoon. And it's, it's, it's dumb, but let's do it. <laughs> double O poem. Crooked doors, stools, brooms, a poor looking roof, a gloomy sloop, even its moorings, a cook's boots, a poodle's pooper scooper, <laughs> a groomed zoot suit, and even the bloody root of his floozy's toothache. Next, the sooty books that the rookie hoodlums boosted from school. And then, of course, their bedroom floorboards. All this are woodpeckers' booty. There was even proof in their footballs and pool cues. But just after our culprit tooled and tootalooed through all that stood aloof in the cool, in roosts and in zoos, in loopholes and in hoodoos, even in the spooky oomph of the moon, a bloom with oodles of moolah and goodies and mood, yes! After goofing around the wool gathering of this here boondoggle, this foolery, a loose, smooth ooze of doodlebugs fluted in, flooded in, flooded in, flooded in. I'm gonna change that, it's fluted for now. <laughs> fluted in, boozing up all the woodpeckers' grooves. Too bad it flew away so soon. <laughs> Thank you.